The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. You met me as, as me. Yes. Yes. This hair looks delicious on you. Yes. It's 99 day. The thought was with, uh, with four is that he's finally now in this time yeah, frame. I think now that he's living his, no, this is good. I think now that he's living his truth. But what is his truth that he likes Peggy? Yeah. He likes public female humiliation. Now again. Is it called humiliation? Yeah, he well, likes, he, to, he like he, he likes walk, to be walked like a dog, like a dog. in the public. Oh, okay, I did see, see those. I didn't know that's what that was called. Yeah, and so also, he likes to get saucy bits I don't know maybe we'll have to come back to this conversation in a little while maybe he's maybe y'all could bring me back the proof that he likes the trans girls I don't know I don't I mean the last time he talked the story that he told he said he just looked he said all he did was look at the trans girl fucking the cunt he said that's all he did and that she tried to set him up and blindfold him but all he did was watch that's the last thing i heard about tried it to blindfold him what to fuck him well blindfold and she brought the trans girl in the room and what then to fuck him <laughs> <laughs> because that it kind of doesn't make sense why would you be blindfolded if you're not going to participate in nothing No, <laughs> maybe he, he didn't he didn't know what was going on. He didn't understand. <laughs> you saw Craig. You saw how Craig looked at you. <laughs> the way Craig looked at you, like for real. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you okay, Maddie? I was saying this the first time we discussed it. <laughs> the very first time we discussed this, I said, well, girl, I mean, because my thoughts were clicking in because any sanity, because I've been in the sex work industry. Right. And any time that I was in the room and there were there was holes to be fucked, nobody was, well, they might have been blindfolded at first, but those holes got fucked. And if a, if a gentleman was not into yeah, the thing, a gentleman was not into the things, the gentleman pointed that out. Hey, don't do that to me or I won't be involved. Now, right. there's a lot of here's the thing. There is a lot of lines that we draw in freaky shit because as freaky as I am, I'm not getting into lots of things. Like, bitch, I'm not swallowing no cum. OK, I'm not doing that. What else? I'm not being peed on. What else? Uh -huh. I'm not being bled on. Damn. Oh, bitch, you're not being oh, cause they like people like it's a lot of shit, Myrtle. Literally, they like I, to no, be shat on too. It's a lot Last of time. shat. No, I didn't know about the blood. It's a lot of stuff that be, it's a lot of things that I used to have to put a disclaimer out. I'm not into urine, feces, uh a uh, uh, blood, snowballing. Snowballing, for those of you who don't know, is when someone comes in your mouth. Eight. And you pass it back. That's right. Yeah, I'm that's, not into threesomes, foursomes. I'm not into that. Not not threesomes where I'm the where I'm the bottom. Now if it's a threesome and then I'm I'm the I'm the I'm the the giver. So you would never be the 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 I, one in I'm, between. I'm not laying in. Wait a minute. It all depends on if it's two dicks. That's what I was about to say. If it was two uh, dicks, you wouldn't want to. Yeah. Be? If it was you and a friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all was both tops. Yeah. Now, see, I tried a threesome many, many years ago after I came out of that relationship in 2005. I said, you know what? If I'm going to try a threesome, I need to try it now. And I tried. It was a couple. A woman and a man? A guy, no, two guys. <laughs> oh. And they're still together today. This was 2005. And um, I don't know if there's much passion there, but you know, they're still together. Yeah, I mean. But my thing is, I couldn't go through all the way. I couldn't go all the way through with it because it was just like in my head I was just like this is not you you only trying it because you just want you want to wanna see you just want to see yeah so it's just like I, and so I kindly escorted them out of my boudoir and said thanks for your <laughs> time. I said thanks for coming nobody came none of that yeah and um yeah I mean we just were like, we were naked 
but, yeah, like, but it's, nothing. It's not, just like I had that couple I told on my story many years uh -huh. ago, where that the woman, the woman, and the, that was my second couple. Oh, the first couple that I had, I was on the streets, and I had ex I explicitly explained to her, ma'am. <laughs> Because he didn't speak no motherfucking English. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wrote about this in my memoir, too. <laughs> That's being adaptation to film. Right. Ma'am, as long as you don't put your hands on me, this is going to go, go, go as great as possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you keep your hands over there. I explained it because he didn't, the man ain't know what the fuck was going on. He didn't understand no motherfucking English. And she was translating this. I said, well, listen, don't, you can't translate this to him. Just let him, let me tell you, let me translate this to you so that you understand. Right. right. You keep your hands, pussy, toenails, acrylic, and weave, hair weave, or hair extension, whatever. Is that how you said it? So basically you ready to train on her husband. Well, her husband, she wanted her husband to watch him fuck me. Oh, and she wanted to join in as they. Well, as the thing, now listen, y'all got to see how this shit gonna, like I wrote about this. Because this shit was so crazy to me. It was the very first time I think I was in my teens, 19, maybe 20, maybe 21. I couldn't have been older than 21. But this was how this shit first happened. That bitch was like, uh, hey, baby, um, you know, me and my husband, we into some things or whatever. And, you know, so we, you, we think you're the perfect one. And I was like, I looked in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm coming back to this comment right here on the screen. Go ahead. I looked in the car, uh -huh. and the man was like, hola. I was like, oh, okay. What hola. And I had to scoop around in there like, you know what I'm saying? What, what we going to do this at? <laughs> How much money y'all got? What we going to do this at? Anyway, so they had a little house in the hood back down for 81st. Like 79th Street was here. So it's 81st. Was this down there by Boy? What's the club called? Uh, it, was on, it was on the back. It's like on this back little... Club Boy is Club over, Boy was over there where the Jamaica Bahamian pot was. Uh huh. But this was like coming off the back. She's like eighty first. It's right here, uh -huh. and then it it, it it stretches out to 79th this way. So they had like a little trap house they had, but they they was they used to sell dope. Oh. And so I'm over here like girl, you know. So I walk to the. She's like it's the house. Of the so I'm watching them drive the car, whatever, and they pull the car in the yard. And so say, oh, wait, this is about my grandmother's neighborhood. B bitch. <laughs> Get your grandmother out of there. <laughs> so I'm walking over here, whatever, and I'm seeing whatever. They had bars around the window. It's like some duplexes, whatever. That's very Miami and LA. And I think that the that the that they the, the the mama or somebody stayed in the house next door. Mm. Bitch, this shit was crazy. Let me skip through it because I don't want to give away a whole bunch of the stuff. Because when when y'all see this shit come to life, mm -hmm. the way the the way the people over there was reading it when they was they were on my phone like, oh my god. Uh -huh. But I'm like, this shit happened to me. Uh -huh. Bitch, we go on the ins. I go on the inside of the motherfucking thing, and and it, it got all these bars on here, bitch. And then when I finally get in, they locked the door. I said, oh girl, I'm trapped in here. So it's either I'm gonna have to kill these niggas or these <laughs> niggas gonna kill me. Right. You had your you had your piece on you, dude. Well, I never go anywhere with an ice pick. <laughs> so I had an ice pick at the time. Girl, I get in here or whatever, and so I'm like, oh, they had crates, uh, and they had a mattress on the floor. Like this, this, this was this was the trap house. Murder, this was the trap house. I see. So I go in here or whatever. So she he just talking Spanish, like just talking. And I'm like, I wasn't fluent as, as fluent as I am, because I'm not fluent as right, Spanish. but you understand. But I understood now. more now. Yeah. But they was talking Spanish. And I was like, girl, what <laughs> girl, let me because I was able to read hand gestures. Right, right. Girl, girl. Uh -huh. Remember what I told you when we was outside. Right. You know, <laughs> and then he that motherfucking black Cuban pulled that damn. Uh, short off and it was body. I said, oh. and he wanted to get fucked. Craig, I no. Oh. Craig, I gasped. <gasps> that thing was so it was like an Adonis, like a black yeah. Adonis. And yeah. he didn't speak no English. Nothing English. And that shirt came off. I, said, I gasped. <clears throat> How would he say I exhaled? Right, right, right. <sighs> So what happened next? those pants came down, honey, and that motherfucking dick came up. That dick, <laughs> that dick came up with those. When that what, was, what did he do? That dick came up like that. I said, "Oh shit!" Mm -hmm. 
And he all the time he wasn't wasn't communicating with me. He was talking to her. He was talking to her. So he asked her, "Can he touch me?" I'm like, "Wait a minute, now. ain't nobody getting my permission, right? <laughs> you need to be trying to get my permission." He asked her, "Can he touch me?" Mm -hmm. So then she was she told him yes. After she told him that he could touch me, he proceeded to come to me and he pulled my the t-shirt shit because i haven't always been this fat bitch i was a petite girl <laughs> <laughs> so he pulled my t-shirt down and so my titties was they was fresh titties bitch girl they were perky they girl. was fresh titties bitch i said 20 21 in, in that area they was some fresh uh-huh so those titties was up there he's like he said hey <laughs> he said i haven't always been but, this fat but, Chris, I'm still Chris, he said hey <laughs> hey <laughs> so he asked her again can he suck them this I'm, it's like i'm not even in right. you should have <laughs> said talk to me no it's okay because i was man, just like his dick was up like so was mine <laughs> <laughs> and he found it out when those panties came because right. i still was up right so he was sucking my titties and shit like that and i was just like oh and she asked she asked me do i like it and am i am i Am I turned on? Girl, you seen this dead? No, she didn't see it yet. Oh, she didn't see it yet. Bitch, because I'm going to tell you when she saw it. <laughs> oh, so they didn't know. No, they knew. Oh, oh okay. Oh, they knew because that's what they paid for. Oh, okay. And uh -huh. this is what I try to get people to understand. Yeah. That people seek this stuff. There ain't nobody being, we don't do Bamboozle. Bamboozle. Right. You okay. know? Bitch, when she said, are you, I said, yes. And then he asked her, could he pull the rest of my things off? Mm. And so he she asked him in spanish and he and, and i said yes and then he pulled it out and like his dick went up like this when his man mine did too he said i <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. gather the things gather the things gather the things <laughs> i was getting ready to get my children out of here <laughs> Yes. That motherfucking uh, got the, he says I <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What happened next? Bitch. <laughs> that motherfucking man slid that mattress. Yeah, that mattress he slid that mattress. He naked. He naked. That man was ready. Wait, where did he slide? The he slid that floor? mattress to the middle of the floor. Where was it? It was on the floor. It was. The floor. But he had to slide that bitch over there. He slid that mattress over there. And he said, I, and so did that bitch. That's a, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what? He said, I. And she said, ooh. <laughs> and I, I immediately reminded her. Girl, none of this is for you. No, right. Don't touch me, girl. Girl, none of, none of this. Because it's going to end the show. It is. None of this is, none of right. this right here is for you. Right. Because you're going to have me deflate in a moment if you touch me. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I feel a nail, a frog's hair. Right. Bitch, if I even feel this fall right, right, I'm right. out of here. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm going to need you to take these cages off this window <laughs> and door. Through. Right. Because well, I'm going to use one of y'all bitches' body to, do, to go through this bitch. <laughs> and so he slid that man. That man was motherfucking ready. You mm -hmm. hear me? So, uh, so I, I, I got down on the mattress or whatever. And bitch, I'm horny because this man is so fat. Mm -hmm. He had nice feet, and but he just, it was he didn't speak no English. So I'm talking to him. He says, "Mami es muy bonita." He said, uh -huh. just talking to me in Spanish, rubbing me, doing the thing. He, he then, then he asked her, "Could he touch my cock?" He asked her. Bitch, my cock was hard as this damn toilet tissue paper right here. He asked her, could he touch it? And uh -huh. she told him yes. So he got that motherfucker. He was, he was, just talk, he was struggling. He was talking to me in Spanish. I don't know what he was saying. I was telling him, wait, baby, wait. It's Espérate. 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 Because I was for the ski. Right. <laughs> stop, stop rubbing me like stop that. Stop doing this to me, man. You is fine. You done sucked on me. And you telling me I'm pretty this man for Nita. So girl, wait, is it, he's like, you No, he didn't. Uh -huh. No, he didn't do any 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 he of this on your breast. He sucked my titties. He he masturbated me, and bitch, he told me to get down there on that floor. <laughs> get down there on that mattress. Wait, man. how did he say? <laughs> <laughs> you know what this means. <laughs> and so what what what, what he get, what, what was what was that? Bitch, honey, the, the lady threw, the lady passed the rubber over there. I was like, thank you. Oh, he was ready to get dug uh, out. No, he she passed. He oh, passed. He, was, 
He she passed the rubber to him. Who passed. was doing the bending? You. Oh, I was doing the bending. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> there was none of that. Her, her man was getting was having it. Her man, her man was having a transsexual experience, and she, he was the top. Right. And she was just there to watch. She was there to facilitate. To facilitate what he can and cannot do. Right. And he asked her the things that he wanted to do. Could he do those things? Uh, and she allowed him. He didn't, he never asked her, could he suck my dick? He never she but he asked her, could he touch it? He did ask her, could he touch it? It was so it was so much shit going on. Like I'm young. I just it was so intense for me. You I'm, gotta you gotta be made of a different kind of stuff to watch your partner fuck somebody else. If you really into them, like if you and I see I'm not made of that fabric. Yeah, I'm not made of that either. I'm not made I of that never fabric. Watch my wife or girlfriend. If whatever. I'm doing that with you, I have yeah. no motherfucking feelings. But for you. It, I think this was her. Oh, it was her fan. That was her I, idea. I, I think because you know, but I, I I know she probably regret it now because <laughs> you know you probably done created a monster. But awakened, you, yeah, awakened because he was there. Because that bitch, because when that panties came down and he said, "I," <laughs> bitch, I didn't. She came. She says, "I." She yeah. said, "Oh." Bitch, she passed that rubber over there. Oh, wow. Whatever he, that man told me to get down there like that. <laughs> He didn't say nothing. He just pointed. Bitch, I got down there, honey, and I got on my knees and tooted that ass up in the air, honey. And I reached over there in my whore bag and put my little creams. <laughs> Again, I was not this fat. Mm -hmm. I was a petite girl. I put those little creams around that hole. <laughs> Where'd you put the creams? Around that hole. <laughs> and I made sure that rubber was back there. Uh-huh. And bitch, this thing I know, honey, that man started to plunge and was plunging me and I mean terrorizing me. I was like, oh, it was so many times that I had almost come in that whole situation because it was so much going on. So it was enjoyable, it wasn't painful. Bitch, that man was fucking me. That fine ass man was fucking me. <laughs> was it painful? No. It? That uh, man was fucking me and licking me all in my back and it was so much. He was a big man. He yeah. was a big man, and he was just. Yeah. I, I was. I felt. If I ain't never felt like no cunt, bitch, I was the cunt right then, <laughs> bitch. And that girl was sitting over there. She was sitting on the sofa, rubbing her, rubbing in between her thighs. Cause this is. The, the, she ain't had no toy for herself. Well, later on down the line, and the second time this happened to me, the girl. Was, oh, this happened multiple times. This, oh, this was a different couple. This is a different couple down the line. Oh. The girl, she had her whole hand on her pussy. I was just like, oh my god, I can't do this. I just can't. So you didn't finish? No, this I finished. <laughs> this man is fucking me down, girl. And I'm like, girl, I'm about to come. Like, hold on here. You know what I'm saying? This uh -huh. man is, I mean, fucking me down. Like, just like I, cause I, when I'm getting, bitch, I have to whore me, slut me out. Mm -hmm. That thing was slutting me on that floor. Mm -hmm. And bitch told, and then they tapped me on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I look back. <laughs> Roll over. That's what he said. Right. So I, you turned over. I rolled over my back, honey. Well, he could see that dick sitting up there. Cause, mm -hmm. Cause when he was fucking with me, that dick was hard as a brick sitting there. That shit was driving that man crazy. Then my dick was so hard sitting right there, and he was wearing me out, putting the legs right there to that motherfucking those knees. I can hear my knees cracking. Your knees up on your clavicles. <laughs> Clavicle. I can hear my knees cracking in my ear. <laughs> tearing me up and that motherfucking girl was over there she was she was rubbing her titties she was fingering herself and all this stuff or whatever and then this man told her bingo benga what's that mean i guess he's telling he's gonna come he's about to come oh okay benga so no listen go ahead because it didn't stop there when he is when he rolled over there to spoke over there in her area to tell the, her that he was about to come yeah right? Mamas came over there and laid down beside me. And he came on her. Bitch, he pulled that motherfucking rubber off of off of him. And put it in her. Put his dick in her. And came. Bitch, I and I was just laying there looking at this girl like, oh God. I wonder if they were trying to have kids. That might be the thing, man. I wonder if maybe he wasn't he couldn't be aroused for her. No, not even aroused, maybe just cooked. Right, maybe he maybe he wasn't into her enough, but wanted to have a kid with her. You know what I mean? And they needed to bring in somebody. Bitch, I was like, I'm looking at her. That just, I'm looking at she done laid by me, girl. Yeah. <laughs> girl, uh-uh, get up. Right, right. 
<laughs> she done laid next to me, so honey. But at this time, I had got because I didn't know what was getting ready to go on. Because I'm still, <laughs> you, I'm still in the place of like, bitch, I ain't come yet either. I haven't met yet either. I'm scared. I don't know what's going on now because it's like, girl, don't you don't do nothing now. And it's like, not that this bitch no. <laughs> and that bitch told me after he nutted, she, he nutted, he calmed her and nutted all her. That bitch told me, um, she told me, bitch, this is mine. That's what she I was saying. like, oh, okay. So you never hooked up with them again? No. That bitch told me this is mine. I wonder if he ever wanted to come back and do something with you. This. That's maybe why she said it. No. What, what that whole thing taught me, that bitch was in control. She was in control. Mm-hmm. He did whatever she told him to do for her fantasy part of the situation, bitch. And she reassured to it to me and any whore that she pays <laughs> to fuck her husband that this is mine. Right. You don't get none of the essence. You don't get none of the juice. Uh, you don't get any of that, bitch. You just get the pipe. And I get the rest. Now, who came first, him or you? He did, bitch, because he was I was he was fucking me, and then he went to talking to her in Spanish. That he was gonna come. I guess he was telling her that he was yeah. about to he was about to come. And I was like, damn. Wow. When I left that place, I really left there in a state of they used me. That's how you felt? Yes. I think we both did that. I've been there a lot. But <laughs> And not only did they use me, that all of this was female orchestrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of this is female orchestrated. She wanted, this was her. Idea. Yes. Because he talked to her through the, through, the, through the whole fucking shit. Like you weren't even done. Yes. <laughs> he asked me, so he told me I was pretty. He told me I was pretty. He told me I was pretty. He eyed when that dick came out. He stroked it. He never sucked it in none of the things. But I just was like, wow. Mm. Is that a common thing with men who are um, attracted to trans women that they don't want to suck the dick? Men that are attracted to trans women do whatever they choose and it's, it, it, whatever they, the impulsiveness tell them to do. Right. Sometimes they may have may have been like, okay, I'm a, let me. Let me and there's some men that'll suck this one dick and won't suck the other one. Oh well, fuck that. You you don't know right. when it's when it comes to the mentality of somebody who's lusting for something. Yeah. Because we done been in the room with somebody. That's why I'm not a partner sharer. Bitch, you sitting there and you, 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 your partner over there doing shit with this stranger that you ain't never got done to you. Correct. <laughs> we talked about that last night too. We were saying how, for me, it's so interesting how people can participate or engage in things sexually with a stranger or on some sort of a hookup type shit that you won't even do with your partner. I think, well, maybe. I, I don't understand that. Maybe I'm wrong. Because you're ashamed exactly. for your partner you have to, to look know. At person every single day. Yeah, but bitch, if that's your king, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's let it. me know, but they, there's there's shame attached to it. Yeah, and they feel like, oh, I, oh, I don't want you to see me in that light. Uh, you know. Do you have what it takes to be a fag? Oh, honey, you know you do. We all do. I'm most definitely a popular hot ass gossip.